No balls, one strike on the Bulldog freshman. And the 0-1 pitch. Swings at a fastball and hits it into left center field for a base hit. That makes it into the gap, but not deep enough to stretch it to two. But DR with his fourth hit, playing in his father's hometown. Ray Meadows went to Cochran High School, was a three-sport athlete, football, baseball, and basketball. Was a starting shortstop on a team that played for a region championship and lost to Mount DeSales at Luther Williams Ballpark, home in the past of the Macon Braves. Heck, Pete Rose played there. Full count on Etheridge, settling in, right-handed hitter. Here's the pitch, swings and hits it right side and deep. This ball's right down the line. This is a fair ball. D.R. Meadows running to the third base bag. Here comes Etheridge to second with a double. So the Bulldogs start off the bottom half of the first in a scoreless game. Meadows with a single to left. Etheridge with a double down the right field line. He's had a base hit in his last five at-bats today. 1-0 pitch to Jeremy. Swings and hits it up high into the air. Let's see if this will score a run. Trice, the center fielder, the East Georgia signee, catches the ball. It's deep. D.R. Meadows will score. Here comes a throw to the dish, and it's late D.R. to the plate, touching home. And the Bulldogs lead 1-0. Beasley with a sack fly. Taller than that guy. He's certainly quicker. His name was Matt East. I think he's a coach now. Jeremy swings and hits the ball deep to right center field. Trice going back. This ball is going to bounce up against the fence. And Beasley, the pitcher, running to second base and stopping there with a double. A leadoff double. Tyler Luke trying to put the Bulldogs up 2-1. Bottom half of the fourth. 0-2 pitch in the dirt. and You're not going to get one by this catcher. Zach Evans moved to his right and caught it. Infield is in all the way around for Bleckley County. One, two pitch to Tyler. Swings and drives the ball into center field. Caught by Trice. Beasley's tagging. Here comes the throw offline. Beasley to the plate. He scores standing. Bulldogs lead. Tyler Luke. A sack fly RBI on a line drive. He hit that ball hard. Two walks to open up the frame here in the bottom of the fifth and a chance for a third one. With Etheridge and Braddy and Beasley coming up chance, and I don't want to say it, but for a big inning. Nobody's had one in this game. There's a bunt first base side, fielded by Slaughter. He's going to third. The ball bounces. He's safe. Everybody's safe. Bases are loaded. And Jake Davis, is he okay sliding into third? Just got there. Slaughter made the decision to go to third and just missed getting a key out. So DR back on base. Nobody's had a big inning today. We've been playing baseball since 5 o'clock, except for a little break between games. And it's 9.47. It's almost 10 o'clock. 2-1 pitch. And he misses inside below the letters. 3-1. Two walks and a fielder's choice have loaded up the bases. And Etheridge has a supreme hitter's count. Three balls and one strike. And the senior sets up back of the box, wearing his batting gloves, swinging the Easton bat, awaiting the 3-1 pitch. Here it is. Swings and lines it into left field. Hard for a base hit. Here comes Jake Davis. He scores, and the bases remain loaded. As Blake Horton is held at third, it was a good thing. Good throw coming in from the left fielder, Austin Jones. James Etheridge with another big RBI hit. And the Bulldogs lead by two for the second time today. First time in this ball game, 3-1. Infield in, left and right. Wind up a Simmons, 1-0 pitch. Bouncing, and this one gets away. In comes Blake Horton from third, and he's going to score. Well, that was a tough one to catch, trust me. Bulldogs now lead by three. Biggest lead of the day for either team, 4-1. to one. Let's see if Tyler can give the Bulldogs... An even bigger lead. Six to one would be nice. Coming up in the sixth inning will be Slaughter, Evans, and Williams. Here's the pitch. Line in the right center field for a base hit. Tyler Luke has had a monster day. That's going to score Etheridge. He's going to stretch it to a double as the throw goes to second. And Young dives to the bag. Did they get him? Yes. He makes another great play. 
Hogan White was running to third. Tyler Luke decided to stroll down to second, and unfortunately the throw went to Young. He was nowhere near the bag. He caught it and then dove and recorded the out as he makes another sensational play, but the Bulldogs come up big. Give Tyler Luke an RBI hit. Yeah, the Bulldogs have scored four here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. They now lead six to one. Going to the sixth, the Dogs need six more outs to move on to the second round of the state playoffs. We'll take a break here listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. Not a lot of strikeouts today. I got him with five. He'll have games like that. And then other games where they'll strike out 12 or 13 ground ball to Meadows. Hard hit ball, feels it and tosses it wildly, but Brandon Beckham comes off the bag and applies the tag for the out. Good play by the senior. Stephen Garrett is catching the second game. Ben Brantley caught most of the first. One, two pitches hit up in the air to the shortstop. D.R. Meadows backs up a little toward the outside cut, catches it, and now two down. Two down, runner at first. Buckley County down to its final strike, down 7-1. And the pitch, swing, and a missed strike three. End it with a flare. The Bulldogs are going to the second round. The pitching today, outstanding. James Etheridge throwing 10 and a 4-3 win in game one. And Jeremy Beasley throwing 7 in game two and tossing a one-hitter. As the Bulldogs have done it again as a lower seed, they went on the road just like they did last year at Dublin as a three. They went today as a four at Bleckley County. And kudos to the Royals on their season. And how about the Bulldogs? Taking care of business, winning game two, seven to one. We'll come back and wrap it up on Y101. Whew. <sighs> 